Tonight, Israel is contemplating a retaliation strike after Iran's overnight drone and missile attack. Meanwhile, G7 democracies gathered today and condemned Iran's attack, expressed full support for Israel, and called for stability in the region. Fox's Trey Yinks has the latest from Tel Aviv. Israel weighing a retaliatory response after Iran's overnight missile and drone attack. Over 300 missiles and drones were fired by Iran and its proxies, according to an IDF spokesperson. Israel, with the help of key Western allies, including the U.S., the United Kingdom, and Jordan, were able to intercept the majority of the projectiles. This was the first time that such a coalition worked together against the threat of Iran and its proxies in the Middle East. The White House calling Israel's defense effort a military success. And that's a terrific testament to the superiority of the Israeli military, but also to our own military mm -hmm. superiority. But also warning that the U.S. does not want to see this conflict spread into a wider war or participate in a counter strike, something President Biden made clear to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu during a phone call. Our actions have been purely defensive in nature. Our goal is to de-escalate and then get back to the issue at hand, securing an end to the conflict in Gaza. Iranian military officials warning that if Israel retaliates, Iran's next operation will be, quote, much larger. The threat sparking global concern. On Sunday, the U.S. met G7 leaders, releasing a statement condemning Iran's attack, reaffirming its support for Israel and commitment to securing the Middle East. Biden also spoke with top members of Congress about getting more funding passed for Israel and Ukraine. In Tel Aviv, Trey Yinkst, Fox News. And tonight, Austin's Israeli and Jewish communities are responding to the attack by Iran. In a statement, Shalom Austin said, quote, We are all relieved that yesterday evening's attack caused minimal damage. We are also appreciative of the broad coalition support led by the U.S. and others. The group adding, There are currently no known credible threats to our community. We will continue to pray that the situation de-escalates and that all remain safe.